Hi, I'm Dan Heinfeld, and I'm president of LPA. We're a design firm located here in Irvine, California. One of the things that's really been interesting that I was asked to do is uh, try to help people figure out how to hire the best green architect. And that's always been a very daunting sort of question as, you know, because you always see firms and they look all the same. But I think the answer has actually gotten easier and harder. The easier part is, is that number one, you shouldn't even be considering an architect who you don't think has a really high sustainable quotient. That's just right off the bat. And so, but the hard part of that is then, how do you really know if an architect's green or not? Uh, or how, how do you really know if an architect's sustainable or not? And so I think there's a couple of kind of keys. Number one is you really need to understand how long have they been doing it. There's a lot of people who are doing it and who are saying right now that I'm a green architect, I'm a green designer, a lot of greenwashing going along. You really want to understand how long someone's been doing it and how committed they are to it. That will actually tell you how committed they are to it. So I think that's a really important key. It's just one, how long have they been doing it? Number two, what kind of resources do they have within their firm to make sure that you are getting the best sustainable project? Because that's really fundamental. We believe here at LPA that by doing that, we're really just being good business partners with our clients because sustainability at our firm is about good business practices. So um, why would you not want a building that saved you energy, saved water, and created a healthier indoor environment for your employees. I mean, it's sort of a no-brainer. Another thing that you absolutely should do is visit the architects or the designers' projects. You have to really go on site. There's nothing like being there and seeing how a project feels, how the environment relates to it, what the landscaping's like, in order to really understand how sustainable the project is. Another thing that's really important to do is to understand how the sustainability is going to be done. Is it really captured just in a small centralized group within the office or is it more broad as it spread throughout? I think real sustainability happens when it happens on a day-to-day -day basis. So that's why at our office we're trying to get 100% of our people lead accredited because we believe that real sustainability happens on that day-to-day -day sort of interactions where these little small interactions happen and where people kind of these bursts of creativity. That's when really emerging sustainability happens in affordable sustainability. And the last point that I wanted to make and probably the most important one is, is that anybody you hire to work with you for the next year, two years, whatever it might be, has to have an amazing amount of passion for your project. And they should have passion for sustainability as well. Those two really go hand in hand. And if you can find those combinations that I talked about earlier and the passion that someone has for it and really delivering sustainable projects, then you'll find the right design firm for yourself. Thank you for joining us and uh, visit our channel often.